Hello, hello, and good afternoon. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful on passive day. I know that mine is. It's going to get a little rain, but it's still a great, great day. This is going to be a clip from last Friday's uh, webinar with Shushanta Biswal. Uh, Biswas, excuse me. Uh, he is in uh, Bangladesh, and the webinar is called the International uh, Webinar. Uh, if you can go see that, there were a lot of good speakers there. Uh, uh, there was uh, Dan Street, uh, 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 Sapna Gupta, uh, Lynn Nakamoto, and, and some others, obviously. So if you can go see that, the link is down below. But this is about a 13-minute clip. Thanks. Have a great day. Sushanta, today you're talking about how on passive is changing and can change and will be changing the the lives of so many people and to to understand or maybe to address the life-changing aspects of what we're doing within on passive we need to understand some things about the company and i'm glad today that this is an open forum that is open to not only founders but everybody because in order for us to really to to get involved uh and to take that first step of getting involved we need to understand that on passive is an ai it company right it does a lot of different things but it does it all of what it does it does through uh the the data centers and the innovation labs of manufacturing facilities and dan as you had pointed out earlier the the core of this for our uh, uh activity is the digital ecosystem so in accordance with all these things and everything that's happening on passive will change millions of lives it can even change billions i'm sure that it will over time and it's going to do this through again dan as you had alluded to just a minute ago the massive decentralization of wealth that has uh is coming into on passive from the global net of on passive and it's going to be exiting on passive going through the founders and back out in a very even way to the globe so in this way we're going to be lifting humanity with all of these things that we have um having said that we need to understand that you know concerning uh, ai and the it portion of on passive uh specifically the digital ecosystem and everything that's involved with that that on passive builds fully independent SaaS products saas right um and this is integrated into um a larger system right that uses the latest greatest software technologies a lot of it uh on passive and the the tech teams have uh developed on their own um and the SAS is actually just an acronym that stands for software as a service and that's what we're doing everything that we have is digital in the digital ecosystem and it's a service and that is going to offer the globe the world the founders and everybody else the digital uh gateway if you will that's going to give us our success or allow for our success it's a digital touch point if you will that's going to uh allow us to mingle with our everyday lives through it and all of the digital products that are found in the SaaS model that that on passive uses <clears throat> excuse me now and in the future can all be accessed <clears throat> excuse me from within the on passive ecosystem um and as such that's a collection of digital uh, AI driven uh, products they're all interconnected they all work flawlessly together and that interconnectivity offers so much more value than we've ever expected or gotten anywhere else um as you especially dan as as a, a multi-level marketer in the business for years you know what's out there and you know what this means for for the community of, uh, of online marketing and business so if we do anything online no matter what it is this ecosystem that is available to us represents uh, an opportunity for for true freedom. As uh, I think Mr. Mufara has said many times, total freedom, which goes back to our CATMO, right? And that means, you know, financial and otherwise, which is to say that it's going to free up your time and it's going to free up uh, 
or it gives you the opportunity to get enough money to, to do exactly what you want. And that lifestyle starts with the on passive ecosystem. And that's the real change that will be able to happen in your life. Now, the, the big reason for that is that once you're in the ecosystem, you don't have to go anywhere else. I mean, it's literally an abbreviated internet, and then it contains all the tools that are necessary. It's going to help us uh, do whatever it is that we do in our daily lives for business, whether that's um, communication or education, uh, whether it's business, whether it's, um, I mean, anything, whatever it is that we're doing, we've got something in that digital ecosystem that will help that be uh, better and more successful for whatever the in individual is doing, right? I mean, what we represent is a true global digital net. Um, access uh, to the ecosystem is really, really easy too. It's just single sign on, right? And now this is something I think that uh, Mr. Mufara mentioned the other day that the ecosystem is actually designed so that once you've got a product, once a product is purchased or uh, rather subscribed to, any other product that's needed to operate that product is automatically made available within the ecosystem. So owning the ecos, owning, owning is probably not a good word. Subscribing to everything in the ecosystem, right? Means that we can apply any and all of the applications in it that are needed to run any of the standalone products. I mean, this is huge. It's massive. This makes, um, this makes, the entirety of on passives ecosystem a single business solution with all the components inside of it so that once you enter this business solution you there's nowhere else to go there's nothing else you need to go get there's no outside source life is going to get good for you real fast and this is one of the ways that it's going to change what you're doing online it's going to change your life and the way the advantages rather maybe to how this has been developed can see be seen uh, in the way that it's all been put together as a, I'll use the word gestalt because it simply means that on passive is greater than the sum of its parts. So even though we've got all those inner labs and we've got data centers and we've got manufacturing and we got the deco, I mean the, uh, the ecosystem and the AI automation, all of that together brings in the AI with heart and brings in the humanity portion of it and makes it all available in a way that allows us as a company to be a touch point for everybody on the globe and to offer them a way to get more abundance, to get some wealth, to get some resources into their lives that are going to give them what they need. And I like, you know, kind of what uh, was said the other night, uh, Mr. Mufara had said, and I think Lynn and Sapna and Dan, you even probably uh, alluded to this, that, you know, when you've got people out there that don't have, that they don't have enough, whether it's shelter or food or whatever, it's really hard to focus on building a business or trying to do something that's going to help somebody else. So on passives, primary focus here on, and, on creating change and building change throughout the world is to bring resources together from one place that everybody can access and use to build their lives from the basics on up. Because once you have enough for yourself, your mind automatically goes out and goes beyond yourself into what can I do for others. And that's a big, big thing as far as on passive is uh, concerned. And that's a lot of the heart that goes into what's going on with uh, on passive and how the whole mechanism came to be. And I like the idea that you had talked a little bit, uh, Dan, about the evolution saying, you know, we started as just a little bitty marketing company and look what's happened by, by leaps and bounds. We've gone into this huge, this massive global uh, partnership of founders and other systems uh, that have the ability to do exactly that, to reach into the uh, into the the entire global population, and to affect every sector of every piece of uh, economic component that's out there, and we have the ability now with this to get the distribution for everything that we need, so that we truly can offer resources for people to lift themselves out of 
uh, their current situations, and even beyond that, they can reach into their local uh, economies, into their local communities in a grassroots force uh, fashion, and offer some of the abundance that they will have out, and 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 that helps with everything. So you know, I'm going to kind of let it go with that, simply because that's how on passive is working to change lives, and that's how it's going to happen. And I love the way that you said, you know, at the core, uh, Dan, that you said that that it's going to free up a lot of the wealth that is now in the world and is being it's is being, if I could use the word, hoarded. You know, a lot of these companies out there, they're not, uh, they're not very uh, very forgiving uh, about. Or, or they're not giving that money out. You, you've got billionaires and millionaires that are just hoarding the money and they're, they're not letting it flow. Whereas on passives, whole intent is to bring it in and let abundance flow. And as Mr. Mufari has said, wealth exists. We just need to go get it. Abundance is already there. We just need to get some distribution and get it going. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go at that and listen to the conversations. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.